Hey everyone, it's Laura here from makingcarsesfun.com and currently I'm reorganizing my whole craft room so of course I need some new decoration as well. Um, I was actually very inspired by these prints uh, with these quotes on them and I saw these at Pinterest and also at Etsy and well that actually inspired me to make my own and I actually already made one and um, I shared it on Instagram and I will um, show you the picture because it's hanging on my wall already so this is what it looks like and today we're going to make a similar one but then with another uh, quote on it so I'm going to start out with this watercolor paper and I cut it to 6 inch by 4 inch so it fits my frame perfectly so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this little flamingo from the summertime stamp set by Kelly Perky and this has been out on the market for quite a long time now and I also have it for a long time and I'm finally going to use it um, because I'm quite obsessed with flamingos lately and because I actually have like a flamingo hanging in my craft room and well today I'm going to use another flamingo so no first I need to um, use my flower and then also my paintbrush just to remove the cling from this piece of paper because we're going to emboss um, the flamingo so I'm, I'm going to show you the iron of embossing technique as well I already showed it in um, a video that I shared not so long ago so I will link to that as well Okay, so I'm going to grab the flamingo stamp. And I'm going to mount it on my acrylic block. So I'll be using Versamark ink since we're going to emboss the image. Okay, so I'm just going to randomly stamp um, some flamingos. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle my embossing powder on it already because I just can't see where I stamp my flamingos. I'm using wine embossing powder by WOW. So, okay, should have... As you can see, I have these new little containers for my embossing powder. But I will share everything uh, from my craft room very soon. I'm going to upload, well first I need to film a new craft room tour and then I will upload it as soon as possible. But I first just need some more decoration and stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp some more of these flamingos. Okay, so I just finished uh, stamping the piece of paper and then I also sprinkled my embossing powder on there. So now it's time to heat set the embossing powder. Okay, so I just uh, heat set this piece so as you can see the flamingos are really pretty and embossed. So now I'm going to add some color to it and we're actually going to give it a watercolored look. So I'm going to use Sponge Sugar Distress Ink and then also a Dried Marigold Distress Marker. You can also use the Distress Ink Pads, um, but I'm using the marker today since I just need a little bit of this color. And then I'm also using Tattered Rose and I'm using the Distress Marker because I just don't have the ink pads. But even if I would have the ink pad, then I would still use the marker since I only need a little of it. So I'm first going to add quite a lot of the sponge sugar distress ink. So I'm just pressing down my ink pad onto my work surface and I'm adding the ink. So then I'm just going to grab a little cup of water and a regular paintbrush. You can also use uh, like a water brush, but I'm using a regular paintbrush today. So I'm just going to 
Um, okay, so as you can see my brush is really wet, so then I'm going to pick up some color and then just randomly start painting. And okay, so now I'm going to heat set this piece um, before like adding more color to it. So now I'm just going to scribble the dried marigold marker onto my work surface and I'm going to do the same for the tattered rose color. And I'm actually also going to just use a bit more of sponge sugar because I'm going to mix the dried marigold and the sponge sugar because this creates like a really pretty color. Uh, when you mix these two together. So first I'm using the dried marigold and then I'm adding sponge sugar to it and then you will end up with a really pretty color. Okay, so I'm just going to add it randomly. Okay lovely. Then I also need some tethered rose. Okay, so now I'm going to add some paint spatters and as you can see I'm using a super fine brush and a lot of water as well. So I'm going to pick up the ink, then I'm just going to carefully tap the brush for some very um, small paint spatters. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for a tattered rose. So this was dried marigold by the way. Okay, so now we're done watercoloring this piece. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to heat set it um, so that it's completely dry and then I'm going to show you the iron off embossing technique again. Um, but first I'm going to heat set this because um, your watercolor piece needs to be 100% dry before you use your iron. Um, so yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm about to iron, but unfortunately I just can't record the ironing um, because my mom is currently ironing downstairs, so I just can't bring um, the iron upstairs because it's like super hot. But um, I'm going to link to my previous iron oven embossing video so you can check out how I will do this. And I will also explain a little bit when I'm done uh, ironing. So I will see. Okay, so I just finished ironing uh, this piece and as you can see the embossing powder is completely gone. So what I just did is I just put a printer paper over this watercolor piece and then I just ironed over it. Uh, my my uh, iron was on medium heat, uh, so that's very important uh, to do. Okay, so now it's time to create our quote. And the quote that I'm going to be creating is don't worry, be happy. And I'm using the Kelly Perky alphabet stickers for that. Okay, I'm going to use my T-square ruler um, to make sure that I adhere my letters completely straight. So first I'm going to grab the D. Okay, so I'm just going to start adhering the sentiment, the quote on there. Um, and this won't take like super long, but you just have to make sure that you adhere everything um, straight. Okay, so as you can see, I'm almost uh, done with this print. So as you can see, it really goes super fast. Um, you can also use alphabet stamps uh, to create your sentiment uh, or your quote, but I just like to use these stickers. Um, because I have a lot of them and 
Yeah, well, I just like using stickers, I guess. Okay, so I just finished uh, my quote, and now I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to the stickers. So I'm using my uh, clear wink of Stella brush pen. Okay, so I just put it in this super cute frame that I got at IKEA. It was really cheap. And you can get it in many different colors. I just got it in white because I just like like neutral uh, frames and then a colorful print inside. Um, so I hope you liked this tutorial a little bit. I will be back on Saturday with a new Saturday STEM Day card and video. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions then be sure to send me an email or leave a comment in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Bye!